Mention Toyota and you'll think of conservative, middle-of-the-road cars that are always reliable, never offensive, and generally command decent resale value. And in fact, those are some of the key pillars that the Toyota brand has been built on. However, times have changed and buyer expectations have become a lot higher. This is the flagship RX version of the recently updated Toyota Aorus range. And the big question is whether it's good enough to keep Toyota buyers loyal. Persuading customers to remain faithful remains one of the key objectives of any car company. It's easier to do return business than making a conquest sale and happy customers become brand ambassadors. But these days even entry level models have to be well equipped and technologically advanced. While customers want more than just an automotive appliance, they want a car that warms the heart, touches the soul and is engaging to drive. At face value, this latest Aorus is surprisingly left of centre as far as styling is concerned. It looks low slung, streamlined and swoopy. And the changes are mainly to the front end where you'll find a lot more chrome, more detailing and in fact a slightly extended overhang. The difference is at the rear very similar, a new bumper, different taillights and again, more bright work. The result of all those changes is distinctive but not necessarily Toyota. Yes, the Toyota badges front and rear are bold and those protruding sharp edged rear taillight clusters are a hallmark of Toyota's current design language. But the Aorus lacks the assertive brand presence of some of its rivals. The low stance and slippery shape promise efficient aerodynamics and some of the bright work detail is eye-catching, but nothing really shouts Toyota. Take away the badges and this could be any contemporary hatchback. That this RX version of the Aorus is the flagship of the range becomes abundantly clear once you get in behind the wheel. It's a smart space where technology and luxury shake hands. The perforated leather and high-backed bucket seats set a promising tone, while the glossy glassy surface of the touchscreen display reminds one of a high-tech tablet. In fact, it's difficult to believe that you're sitting in an Aorus. A nice grippy multifunction steering wheel frames the deep set instrument dials and digital trip computer while the touch screen provides access to key infotainment functions. It's a pity the screen isn't always sensitive enough to accept inputs but the interface is intuitive. The list of standard kit is pretty much full house in both convenience and safety terms while rear seating is about average for a C-segment hatchback. The same goes for the 350 litre boot. The split rear bench seat means you can extend cargo space when required. While current engine trends tend to favour smaller capacity turbocharged engines, the Toyota Aorus sticks with a tried and trusted formula. It's powered by a 1600cc normally aspirated four-cylinder engine delivering 97 kilowatts of maximum power and 160 newton metres of torque. And at face value those figures sound pretty decent until you realise just how hard this engine has to work to achieve those figures. Because maximum power comes in at a high 6400 rpm, the torque peak achieved at 4000 400 rpm. Of course one could argue that chasing the revs into the red is part and parcel of the Aorus hatchback's racy charm but the XR is not a hot hatch and I don't believe its owners want to drive it like they stole it. Remember at reef altitudes 96 kilowatt becomes more like 80 kilowatt and that in a narrow power band so if you don't use all the revs you won't get to use all the power either. Add to that formula a curb mass of around 1,285 kilograms and you end up with a power to weight ratio of 75 kilowatt per tonne, but that's at sea level. Up here at altitude you're looking at just 62 kilowatt per tonne. Now Toyota claims a 0 to 100 sprint time of 10 seconds flat, a top speed of 200 kilometers an hour and those figures may be possible down at the coast. But up here everything is going to take just a little bit longer and you can expect to use that gearbox a lot more more often. It might not be the quickest hatch out there but the Aorus is a smooth operator thanks to a nicely sorted suspension that soaks up bumps and dips without losing its composure. The electric power steering is a little numb but quick and precise and if anything the hatch feels as if it could easily handle more urge. In many ways the Toyota Aorus is a victim of circumstance. It has to make do with a normally aspirated pretty peaky engine at a time when many of its rivals have opted for smaller capacity but turbocharged engines and proven their dynamic worth in the process. But look beyond the engine and you do end up with a car that handles well, that offers a lot of refinement and a certain dash of style. However, just imagine what the Aorus would be like with a decent amount of power. 
It may be a free revving mold, but the Peaky 1600cc engine is the key reason for the Aorus XR's lethargic responses. At least the gearbox has a short, quick action because you need to use it a lot. A smart cabin and loads of standard kit ensure high comfort levels, while confident handling adds further appeal. Ultimately, the Aorus deserves more oomph, however.